I said it. He's like, imposter syndrome? That's a topic? I can't be a part of that. I can't be that. I can't be a part of that. (laughs) Yeah. This topic's rough for me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Welcome to the, the, I was about to say Atomic Mind Dump. I apologize for that. Welcome to the Art Pizza Podcast, where you can find art tips and, and feedback and tricks on the menu, but you won't find chicken wings or breadsticks. Oh. Sorry, Ed, that was a, I, it wasn't a pun, but it was a <laughs> it was themed, pizza related. It was a it themed was... comment. I apologize for that. <laughs> I, get it. I am Brian Manning, or Tag Champ Brian on social media. And I am Edward Freyna, Edward Drawstop on social media. And I'm Elisa, a.k.a. Brewrax. There you go. I'm not going to hey. say your last name. because oh. you, you don't have to say your last name. You don't have to say your last name. Because the kids. Josh is not his line. name either. Doxing? Is that what the kids call it? Doxing? That's, that's what they say. Like, <laughs> my, my whole name is all over books and stuff on Amazon, so I don't care. But I don't think anyone else has to do it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm it's fine. Longer. I don't care. And Josh won't be here because he's afraid of the topic. Josh he's is just, afraid of today's topic. Just putting him on the blo- I'm putting him on blast. But anyways. Uh, yeah, it has an interesting story for us that we made him hold off. <laughs> now I have to ease into it naturally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should I bring up the... <laughs> So I was at IHOP the other day. <laughs> Ed? Yeah, get to the... Ed, do you have a story? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It has to flow. Actually, it was so long ago, I, I can only remember what I remember. I just remember getting into uh, an altercation with a woman uh, outside in the parking lot first because, you know, this is back in the day when Denny's would be packed on a Sunday, right? And so she thought, like, I stole her spot, her parking spot. And then, like, that was fine, whatever. And then when we got inside, it was like she had to actually say something. Oh, and then yeah. I think I was in a different place back then because I don't even know if I had. No, I had like a. I had the one kid and she was a, like a two year old, I think. Oh. <laughs> and so, and uh, all I know is just like, fuck you, lady. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. you, you know, like. Good for you, though. I wasn't trying to take oh, your spot. Some people do need to <laughs> shut the fuck up. Well, you know, because I think most <laughs> people opinion, think you aren't going to say anything, and like, yeah. I, and I think like bullies usually will. I know. Hopefully, like, feel you like confront they get away them and with... they back down. Yeah, yeah. I think you know. I grew up on the East Coast, false, so I'm, way, but... I'm notoriously confrontational. <laughs> you know, yeah. and just like I'm not going to back down. I'm not soft. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but then that that's that's pretty much what happened, and then like we wound up leaving, but like it was just a whole because of that or too just... much yeah. drama. Because I, I didn't want to look at this lady's face anymore. So oh wow, and I think about it now, it's just like I would have <laughs> never blown up like that, <laughs> like now. But you know, people Back then, it was... people go through stuff, you know, like they're in a different mindset. So yeah, you should see she was two, so that's what like fifteen years ago. Yeah, like fifteen years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so My definitely, God. yeah, that's yeah. a different Ed. That's a different Ed, but you know, you 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 learn and you you've you grown. Be- I've grown. I become more responsible. I guess well, that's good. Glad to and, hear. It. Glad to hear it. And today for drawing, I'm gonna try. I just dropped on my shit. I, you know what? I, okay. I accidentally hit the flip and then I like went to draw and I didn't mean to hit the flip. You know, you know, you know how I feel about that. Uh, you know what it is? It's because I hit H because I forget what H is in uh, what is it in Photoshop? Photoshop. Can't remember. Oh, it's what hand. Is... It's the hand. Oh. I went to Oh, so you can like hand move stuff tool. around. Yeah. And then I flipped it. Sorry. Still learning. Still learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like... today's topic, we're going to be discussing uh, the reason we scared uh, Josh off today. We're going to be discussing imposter syndrome. Dun, dun, imposter dun, dun. syndrome that we all suffer from. Correct. Correct. Oh, Good horribly time. suffer from. <laughs> Bane messaged, of my existence. I messaged Elisa earlier. She just sounded like <laughs> like she was like, afraid. Oh no! I know oh, it no. all too well. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm totally calling you out. Man. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is actually something I see a lot on, on Twitter. Like, a lot of people bring it up, that they suffer from imposter syndrome. And it, I guess it gets bad sometimes. But uh, 
it's very natural to to like question your i guess your place in the in the the art world or creative world but it's it's also like a self-confidence issue because uh you're comparing yourself to other people which you can't stop we can't stop doing that <laughs> so you could I, i'm <laughs> you could i mean you can you have to be conscious of it when i'm not saying uh if you suffer from imposter syndrome you got soft hands i'm not saying anything like that <laughs> what i'm saying is <laughs> you have to understand that that even some of your favorite artists i say some because i don't know i think some of them are sociopaths and don't feel like this uh some of your favorite artists suffer from imposter syndrome as well because we're making that mistake of comparing ourselves to others. And then you question, like, do I even belong here? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's well, rough. It's rough, I tell you. How you draw, folks? Hey, what's up, Bear Edwards? How you doing? Bear Edwards? Is that a new visitor? I think so. No, no. I, I know Bear from uh, Instagram. Oh, okay. So new <clears throat> to the podcast, then. New to the podcast. Nice. nice. Um, growing but yeah as far as imposter syndrome i mean i think it, like when it comes down to it it is basically uh just where your your head is mentally right yeah i think so yeah it's uh it, yeah, i guess when you're down on yourself like when you're not feeling it sometimes it's easier to fall into that but uh we're being raided we're being raided oh look, ah. being raided. Oh, look at this look at this we are hey, absolutely being raided. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Proceed. imposters in here. <laughs> imposters, all of you. Imposters. They're not imposters. They're uh, friends. They're we're, friends. We're talking about imposter syndrome. So well, thank you for the raid. Who, who, who raided? Who raided? Who raided us? Thank you for that. Thank you for the raid. There's uh, a bunch of people. Oh, they're soul. That. All these they're people. soul brush. Him and the Foot Clan. <laughs> That's what you call it. <laughs> You guys picked the right day. I got my my, oh my uh, fresh new haircut now, so you guys picked the right day to raid us. That. And there's my bestie <laughs> Citrus. What's going on? Hey, and I'm here drawing. They picked the right day. You guys, this is a rare treat for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a raid from another raid. raid. Look at that. It's like, oh, does that happen? They're gonna they're gonna bail on us now because we're yeah. We're they're gonna, like, we're what is this? It. An art podcast? This is art bullshit. Podcast. Who cares about these imposters? Art? Look at these imposters talking about imposter syndrome. <laughs> go so I don't want to <laughs> act like uh, imposter syndrome is not a big deal because it absolutely is. It's like it, people get down on themselves about it. But uh, it... <laughs> is that Brian or Ben Affleck? <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Brian's in here? <laughs> we have oh, a yeah, special no, guest, guest ben host Affleck. Ben Affleck. You can tell I'm just exhausted. Just like... <sighs> <laughs> Jake from State Farm. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Did he have a mullet? Voice. Did he have a mullet? I know he had a sweet uh, red polo and khaki pants, right? Oh, those tight, tight khakis. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Yeah. Whoa! So, uh, we're actually sharing more than she than I expected her to share. <laughs> she's a big fan of Jake from State Farm. Wow. Whoa! Uh, I, write, I write Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Imposter Syndrome. Some of us think we're Ben Affleck when we're not. We're really not. Uh, I lost my train of thought now because <laughs> you got raided. that lovely, that <laughs> lovely compliment from Soul Brush. He just but called me the greatest now. Batman. He called me now. the greatest Batman. Yeah, I said it. Batfleck is number one in my eyes. What? <laughs> <laughs> really? You didn't know that? Uh, That's who you choose. I'm leaving. Christian it's obviously Bale was George great, Clooney. It's, it's George obviously. Clooney. He had the the bat, bat nipples. <laughs> uh, Christian Bale was a great Bruce Wayne, but I feel like uh, Ben Affleck had like the coolest Batman fight scenes. And I'm a simpleton. I'm a I'm a simple child. Oh no, Damn. he's the Nodak is unfollowing because I, I like Batfleck. I didn't say I like the Snyder <laughs> cut. I said I like Ben Affleck as Batman. Ooh, I'm gonna really stir up some controversy now. You are. <laughs> you know, and I'm trying to avoid being a, a one trick pony and a um what do you call it? An imposter. So I'm trying to draw a female today and I'm 
I find it it's not as natural <laughs> as drawing like a a toothy uh, monster, a toothy dude. A monster. Toothy dude. <laughs> yeah, draw a toothy lady monster. <laughs> no, I'm, put I'm a bow to... on it. It's a girl. I'm trying to make her put pretty. Put a bird on it. I'm trying to I put a bird. On. <laughs> no, I said bow. But also oh, put just, a bird I was, on it. I was quoting Portlandia. Yeah. Sorry. All right. I forgot to share the the thing on the Discord. The magma link, so everyone can yeah, join us. Draw along. Draw along, everyone. Me, me, pick me, my lord. <laughs> What is yep. happening? I'm <laughs> <laughs> We're not used to this much attention, everyone. What, what are you guys doing? doing? Usually we can just talk. I think no, my brother is in the you, chat. You guys are <laughs> really? I think so. Okay, is so we won't talk about uh, controversies. About, yeah, no controversies. controversies in. Because <laughs> Rurax is in here spilling all the beer. I mean tea. Ah. I meant tea. <laughs> Turn a Trump talk for podcast. So, uh, uh, imposter yeah, so. syndrome. Yeah, imposter syndrome. Uh, let me tell you, uh, one of the, one of the reasons uh, I had to get over it real quick is uh, when you're hanging around a bunch of artists in real life, and they're all like super supportive and super talented, and then you already realize I ain't catching up to these people. I'm not gonna be Simon or De Leon or Ed. <laughs> so that kind of helps you frame your your own art and focus <laughs> on your own skills it's humbling it's humbling and i think that's a good thing to get past imposter syndrome blaze has made it What's but happening? uh i'm gonna tell you this is this is, uh the other thing that like because i'm sure everyone knows because we talk about it all the time my brother and i write a lot of books and we publish a lot of books and as an artist i feel like I would naturally be suffering from imposter syndrome writing books, but uh, no one told us that we wouldn't, we shouldn't be able to be selling dumb action movie books. So when they started selling, it just blew right past the imposter syndrome. So we're riding high on that Dunning Kruger. I mean, did that, that's so that how gave we you, got past. So that it. gave you a boost in your confidence to. Uh, yeah, before we could even <clears throat> question if we should be here writing, the books are selling. So. But like even you said, like you you feel like you couldn't be like De Leon or Simon or me. It's like, yeah. is it isn't that different though? I mean, it's uh, it's the same thing with the writing. Honestly, like that's what that's what helped me with the writing. It's like I know I'm not gonna be like at these certain levels, but I can always improve my current level. And I think hanging out with other artists has helped me with that. Like I joke mm -hmm. about writing high on Dunning Kruger, but like I understand that the more reps you get in, the better you're going to get, the more you're going to improve. And the more art we do, the better I get. But you right. can only compare yourself to you yesterday. You can't be like yep. comparing yourself to Ed. Well, I mean, even me, I go through imposter syndrome all the time. I, I think yeah. it also stems from like not having like a formal art education. Like, oh, I see yeah, that's the other thing, right? Like, because I, I never had it form art education either so i'm like the yeah. whole time like should i have done that like i went to art institute but you know if anyone knows it's not really oh we know <laughs> <laughs> it was does. Yeah. it's not it wasn't really an art school you know it was more of like uh like hey pay us some money and we'll get you a degree just right stick it out and we'll teach you some programs but they didn't really teach us about like art or they they give you the basic shit like basically here's here's the intro to 3D here's the intro to Photoshop and like right, that's about right. the gist of it. I mean, I, I went to similar I took, at UNLV. I, yeah, I took a couple of art classes at, at the community college before they dropped community. Now they're just the College of Southern Nevada. We see you. You ain't slick. It was the same thing. Like you take classes and it's very basic stuff. Like here are the the menus of here's how to use the pen tool and uh, and Illustrator and that's sure. it. Oh my God. Can I tell you about, I took a digital painting class. So I started at CSN, CCSN back in the day. Before uh, they dropped the could, community. Yeah. Cause I couldn't afford, <laughs> I couldn't afford uh, a regular college. Yeah. that's where And I the went. art Institute wouldn't take my goddamn scholarship, which is bullshit also. But I remember I'm taking salty it. About it. I know, right? I was, uh, still to this day. You didn't miss nothing. You I didn't probably nothing. dodged a huge bullet, but, uh, but yeah, I took a digital painting class at, at CSN. And it was like my first time really taking like an official class where I was going to use Photoshop and a Wacom tablet. And the teacher 
showed us no technique on how to use Photoshop. They're just like, find a really cool Renaissance painting that you like and recreate it in Photoshop. And that was the whole semester was just oh, doing that. Yeah. But with like, no, it's like you, ha you were forced to kind of like find your own way or like find tutorials. Mm. I mean, this was 2005. So there wasn't really like a YouTube <laughs> channel to go to to Oh yeah, because at the time paint or anything, so you're just kind of like fucked, really. Yeah. Just to... yeah, in 2005, the only thing on YouTube was Star Wars Kid, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or the Numa Numa guy, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's not much. Yeah, so I I feel you on that end. Of the, yeah, like not tutorials, a, not a real like, proper. It's proper so much edition. easier now, but yeah, I think that makes so I think that makes me mad because it's like, damn, kids can. Just oh, access. Yeah. <laughs> kids today, you guys got kids, you, days. I had to walk up eight floors to a life yep. drawing class carrying a big, you know, drawing pad and stuff. And <laughs> that's no lie. Like the elevators would normally be packed and I would have to climb eight floors <laughs> just to oh. get to class. And by the time you got to class, I'm all sweating and I'm just like, I need a breather before we start. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds awful. Eight floors. Where was this? Which this which was in Philadelphia. Was this was in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. It was, it was like an old Art Deco building, so it wasn't that modern, you know. I know, but like in in Vegas, the only art institute we had was the, a two story one. Oh right, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that one. I used to go there for life drawing. Um, was it Wednesdays? They used to have it over there. Yeah. Oh, and then talk about Simon again. I used to just, well, let me just watch him draw. We hate you, Simon. Hour. We hate I'm you. I'm not going to do anything because he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> if you guys don't know Simon, Simon hey, I got, what was his name on social simple, media? Simple Simon, Simon Says. Simon Simple Simon. Says, Simon, says. Simple Simon or I think. Draw My Face. He has that yeah, that was his yeah. second account, yeah. This guy is basically who I credit for teaching me everything I know. Absolutely, yeah. I'm the same way. Like, I wasn't doing... Any pa that painting behind me, that Mick Vacky, Mac Vic Mackey painting back here, I did that at Simon's apartment, learning how to paint, and that, that was, was years, uh, ago. <laughs> that was years, years ago. ago. It was back when Ed got into fights at uh, at uh, Denny's with old ladies for stealing oh parking spots. Actually, so it, was, it was it was a few years after that, but. Yeah, you guys missed the story about me going wild on some random lady in the days. <laughs> Which reminds me, I have to tell a story. mentioned I have to tell a story. You do. But, but <laughs> I have so many. But this one, I'll just drop a hint. I won't talk about it. But it was about the... <laughs> Not the Cypress Hill story. That's a different story. You have uh, a Cypress Hill story. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drop a no, Cypress there, Hill hint like that's that. That's another no. story that happened at like the Griffin downtown. But there's another one where we were at um, Hustler Club and I got knocked out by a stripper. I'll just leave it at that. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Knocked out. <laughs> Hopefully, you edit this out of the podcast. <laughs> me, I ain't editing nothing. Brian's edit done nothing. editing. <laughs> that's gonna be the title of this there. episode. I cut awkward silence, and that's it. And <laughs> anything that's too political, because I get bored listening to it. Right. We we haven't gotten too political in a long time. Uh, yeah, I leave in all the pro wrestling stuff though. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what are Simon's, Simon's handles? handles? Uh, I think we should look it up. It's Simon says, I believe, on Instagram. Yeah, let me. I think it's Simple Simon. Simple Simon. It's probably Simple Simon. I think one of them might be his personal, though. Simple underscore Simon is his personal. And yeah. And I then Sketch draw, My Face. Sketch My Face. Sketch My Face. Sketch My Face. Sketch is my the other face. One. Yep. Oh, no, that's Give not him it. a follow. Is it Sketch My Face? Yeah. Um, I just went to on, Simple it's underscore it's Simon profile. and it's linked in his profile. Yeah. He's so uh, good. This, uh, we hate know, this guy. Tell him we hate him. Don't tell him we hate him. We hate him because he We're taught us everything. Show. We're trying to get him on the show. He taught us everything we know. I'll put the link in the chat there. Ooh. All right. But anyways, <laughs> back to topic at hand. <laughs> the imposter syndrome. We're not Simon, so we're imposters. Right. Um, you know, actually with imposter sy syndrome, <laughs> I had to stop looking at the chat. <laughs> Why are they distracting you? Because Is it getting back. silly? Uh, Brian no. is so oh. toxic. <laughs> um, I am. You I know, am. I do look at it 
not necessarily in a negative sometimes. Um, I think Imposter that, syndrome? Yeah, I feel like when, when I'm having those feelings, that means I'm not satisfied. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not being complacent with myself as far as an artist. So I think that gives me a little bit of like uh, motivation to try to do better. You know, try to right. try to learn. You know, just try to educate myself in more yeah. things. Uh, I just, I mean, maybe it's not that for everyone, but for me, I know it's just like, all right. No, that's a healthy way to look at it. I think that's a that's a good <clears throat> way to combat it. Um, right. I think it's just being aware of yourself and like not yep. going not going down that rab rabbit hole of being like depressed or like you know down on yourself to the point where you just lock up and don't do anything. Yeah, I yeah. Definitely, I definitely think you can use imposter syndrome to your advantage. You know, that's like all about growth and like I think there's a comes a level of um, being humble with that where you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm not as good as I want to be. I'm okay, but I can get better. Yeah. And then that is the driving force because man, I, I have imposter syndrome like all the live long day. And it's a huge reason <laughs> why, you know, I never applied at like a Disney or Pixar. I was just like, oh my I'm God. Yeah. I'm too shitty. I could never apply. And so those are the times where it's like it's super hindered. When you're right. younger, it, it stuff, actually gets yeah. in the way of your potential. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, because when you have so many like hangups about yourself, but um, oh, Alan, yeah, it can be it can be so sorry. detrimental. Yeah, Alan yeah. heard the strip get knocked out by a stripper. Now he's demanding that you tell us this. <laughs> he's this, this, this is right an art. I kind of demand a... it too, honestly. <laughs> Which one, the stripper or the Cypress Hill one? Uh, both. Uh, <laughs> or do we have to pick one? I think Let the, the viewers Hill, vote. Let I think the Cypress Hill it. one is a little more PG thirteen, but <laughs> the Cypress uh, Hill one is PG thirteen. Wow, we were, the, we were that's insane out. in the membrane. Oh, sorry, that was I apologize. Like, we had, I had a couple of friends uh, in town, and we went to the Griffin downtown for just to uh, hang out till like three in the morning. You know, normal stuff. And, normal uh, Vegas fair, and uh, like. We just happened to like meet this this one girl was from out of town, I think from Ohio or something or Cle I can't remember. But like I'm notoriously known to bullshit people, especially when I'm drinking. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, you know, like for some reason, like the girl because like how we were grouped up, it, I guess we seemed like we were like part of a huge entourage. And so uh I think the girl just she asked us like if we were Cypress Hill and we just bullshitted for like two hours telling her <laughs> if we were Cypress Hill. So, <laughs> so that's it's the story. That you guys smelled like I'm sure she the whole time. We tells that story. story that she met Cypress Hill at the Griffin. Yeah, she probably went back to her <laughs> her small hometown wherever yeah. she was. I met Cypress Hill in Vegas. And I mean it's not it's not like that couldn't happen in Vegas. It just no, oh, yeah, it's absolutely it's a plausible, plausible story. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's why she's telling it still. She knows the truth too, and she's Did still you telling it. Take photos? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, oh I actually have a photo with oh, the girl man. and we're <laughs> I'll have the same. I wish I could have been there when she showed that photo to someone and they're like, oh, Sweetie, <laughs> sweetie, that's not Cypress. <laughs> oh man, uh, too funny, too funny. Uh, but uh, so, but yeah, I can't. I'll have to tell you guys the strip club one like offline because I like how he doesn't suffer from imposter syndrome when he's telling people he's in Cypress Hill. Just when he <laughs> <laughs> that's a huge he's imposter, a literal yeah. imposter, literally he suffer. Yeah. I literally took girl. this guy's identity. I don't even know which one I, from uh, Cypress Hill I was. It was just, uh, I think we just like looked ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> if she, if she didn't know, it doesn't matter which one. You could have just said whichever. You could have just started naming other random rappers. Yeah. The no Sugar doubt. Hill Gang. <laughs> Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Wonder Mike, you know, from Cypress Hill. <laughs> See, this is what happens when they're doing a podcast and you bring up storytelling. It's like, I got too many. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me stories. It's a good story, though. All our stories oh. are boring. Boring. You guys have to have some good stories. I mean, you guys have lived. Uh, you guys have lived. I mean, we've lived, but they're kind of boring, I guess. I don't know. I just, I never think about my stories. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you're, I don't old, think about you're old, Brian. Either. You're old, Brian. I feel like, yeah, I feel like. <laughs> 
we got a drawback. Alan remembers this one. We were uh, filming because it was his school project. We were in uh, seniors in high school. We were filming some school project, uh, and we had props with us. And those props included two ski masks, two pellet guns that looked real, and two pairs of nunchucks because we were just doing all kind of wacky stuff. And one of the neighbors called the cops, and then the cops almost shot one of our friends because he ran into his house oh, and the cop pulled behind up uh, pulled up behind us and we didn't see him and then he ran up to the car to tell us that there was cops behind us and the cop had his hand on his gun he's like get away from the car oh. <laughs> so for about 45 minutes they lectured us about how stupid we were and uh yeah, one of the guys shot. <laughs> one of the guys in the car with us was the valedictorian of uh Cimarron Memorial <laughs> is that a flex? Is that, is that a flex? I'm saying we were very stupid, even know, though yeah. the smartest kid in school was with us. We were very stupid for doing okay. what we did. You're about to ruin his college entrance. And it's so funny, like the cops just took turns lecturing us. And and because, again, we had ski masks, pellet guns and nunchucks. And the cops are like just holding up the nunchucks. I got some advice for you guys. Lose these. Like didn't say anything <laughs> about the ski mask or the pellet gun. It was the nunchucks because they were illegal at the time. Oh, wow. Well, see, there you go. You have a story. Uh, yeah, it's not. We're not Cypress Hill or anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, there was a time uh, I almost hijacked a rig show in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like one of the ones that like take tourists around. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was uh, during Niga. Uh, um, like years, yeah, year, years ago, and uh, the poster sitting there kicking in says. <laughs> because of the story or because of the drawing <laughs> or both or both i want to be part of cypress hill too um maybe i I'll guess i'm be, be fake oh, oh god <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> nothing man it's so good. <laughs> too good storytelling uh imposter syndrome we all got stories right that's what ed's saying yeah we totally do it's got the funniest ones but we all got stories <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, I, I I got super drunk in San Diego and, and I, almost stole a rickshaw. Yeah, I was trying to steal a rickshaw. I mean, not steal, like hijack. Like the guy was on it. You're being silly, <laughs> like a silly. You were trying to hijack. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to hijack it. Like and give I, the guy a ride everywhere, or well, take it from him. <laughs> oh, oh, you're trying to rickshaw jack him. <laughs> yeah, rickshaw jack. Him. Oh, it's messed up. Basically. Messed up. Um, but and I also was in San Diego, so I had like no clue where I was at. So if I had actually gotten this thing, I would probably have driven down to the water and just like been lost all night, not knowing where my hotel was. <laughs> just hoping uh, to give someone a ride so they can steer you back. It's like uh, like some messed up version of uh, of Quantum Leap, home, hoping the next passenger will get him back home. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> But um, but oh yeah, Joyce was there. She was there. She was actually the reason I that wasn't you didn't? able. Yeah, because she ran Thank back you, into the bar Thank to you, grab Joyce. my buddy Paul to get me to before, get you <laughs> before I took off and hijacked the wig show. Uh, we just gotta say thank you, Joyce. Otherwise, Ed would be on a different career trajectory. Right now. <laughs> be in jail. Ed would be you'd at have, the bottom of the sea. You would have face tattoos right now. Oh, I like this one. Uh, Bear Edwards says, I wonder Imposter. if painters get impasto syndrome. <laughs> you get it? You get it. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. Thank you. Thank you, Bear Edwards, for saying what I don't have to say because I get booed when I tell dad jokes around here. So to fix my imposter syndrome, JFC says, do I unfollow Ed? Please help. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, you have to keep following him and Actually, that's one of the best ways to, to for me to get past imposter syndrome is just basically immerse yourself in other art, yep. other artists. Yeah. work, And because it's like a reminder, like you're not that person. You're not. That's not your style. That's not your your thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you get inspiration from it's just like we're talking about last week, like uh, the, the finding inspiration in other artists and stuff like seeing the way other people do like uh, or, like draw certain characters or. Uh, horses. Mm -hmm. I'm not watching other people draw horses. That's madness. <laughs> horses and bicycles. Brian's a horse girl. I'm Secret. a horse girl. <laughs> Secret horse girl. <laughs> I do Into. walk by uh, a stable every morning when I'm catching Pokemon. 
And I was like, I wish I could ride them around like a horse girl. <laughs> like a real like a real stable? <laughs> like an actual stable. It's In like, Vegas? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a small stable. Vegas it's got, is like, horse country. Three or four. Uh, yeah, there's several around horses. my neighborhood. So, <laughs> I, On Halloween last year, I saw it was for probably from that stable. There's a couple riding horses. One was dressed as, as Michael Myers, and he just waved at me. And I was like, that's the most normal thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a here's an awesome imposter syndrome story that me and Alan had. Uh we went to we go we used to go to these uh open houses that like the Palladium Palladium Books company would would do. Like they would bring all their writers and artists to hang out with a bunch of players and everything. Mm -hmm. So we show up there, we rented a normal car. Uh we get to the rental car place and the car that they had for us was like a minivan or something like that. But the guy in front of us had a, like a toddler and a child seat. And the only car they had hit for him was a Ford Mustang. <laughs> and he's right. like, that's not going to work. And we're, Alan and I are like, do you want to just trade with this guy? So they they traded our, our rental. So we had a Ford Mustang. Uh, right. <laughs> so on one of the days, we're like, we're going to show up in style. We're going to wow everyone. So we had this other artist uh, with us at the time. He was... Uh, it was a convertible. So he was sitting on like the trunk area and we were blasting. Uh, I forget what song. I think it was Avenge Sevenfold or something. We just blasting some music. We roll up like thinking mm -hmm. everyone's going to look at us we're like we're going to look so dumb. It's going to be awesome. We roll in the parking lot. Everyone's inside already. So no one sees us. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. What a waste of our time. I thought you were going to say everyone had Lambos. Everyone had Lambos, yeah. <laughs> and you just had like a doors. Winky, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Apparently a we showed up at the same thing. time as like a bunch of uh, of uh, really rich real estate people, and they all had Lambos. <laughs> all right, JMC. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for rating us. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I wish I had a good cure for... Um imposter syndrome but i really don't but i would i would say like the best thing to do is is to definitely um look at other people's work and just yeah you have to remind yourself, tell yourself that, that you have to be yeah you have yeah. to put in the work to be as good as the people exactly. that you compare yourself to because you're you're really in competition against yourself like yeah that's like yeah. the that i feel like that's the universal theme of this podcast is is the only one you're competing against is your worst you enemy. yesterday yep Yep. Like we're not trying to be like the next Jim Lee as much as I really want to be Jim Lee. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Maybe it might for someone else, you know. <clears throat> What's but that? It might for somebody else, you know. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe you don't believe in yourself enough, Brian. Oh, I believe in myself. I believe in myself a lot. Like I said, when you ride that Dunning Kruger all the way to, to <laughs> selling books on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing book three of our new series right now. Oh, are you? Okay. Can't stop, won't stop. I mean, the first two books aren't out yet. We're going to rapid release them. So, right. So, so like, Alan, you, finish that second book. Hurry, hurry up. So, like, when you're when you're when you're writing and stuff, like, do you feel like you need to have like a major publisher to be nope. see? Like, yeah. I think that's a good way of thinking because yeah, just everything's self-published. Yeah, everything's self-published. So, uh, honestly, I think part of that is imposter syndrome. Is like I don't want to waste time looking for an agent that's just gonna laugh in my face. So I'm just gonna go sell books <laughs> and make yeah, more know. money. Mm -hmm. I get more money. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, when Image started they're, when they're doing the the numbers. They're like, all we got to do is sell one twelfth of what we did at at Marvel, and we'd be making the same amount of money. And they yeah. end up making so much more. <laughs> So we're getting a bigger cut of a smaller pie, so it's the same thing, right. except we don't have to waste time trying to wow an agent who's just going to be like, really, guys? This is what you're writing? <clears throat> so, I mean, what do you think this whole imposter syndrome stems from? Do you think, it's, do you think it has a lot to do with, like, pressure against, like, um, other artists or social media mostly? I think yeah, I a think lot it, of it is social media, personally. Yeah, a lot of what you see today, a lot of the people that are that are expressing it on on social media is because of social media. But it's yeah. it it comes from insecurity. But social media, 
it's not helping. It's making it worse. It's it's right. really it's making people yeah. think that we're supposed to be at these certain levels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mm -hmm. think we're just exposed to too much of the... I think... I feel like back in the day, you were kind of exposed to either your, your local peers, like if you were in school or something like that, and then you'd have like books where you're like learning from the greats. But I feel like yeah. now it's like you see more of your peers. Um, yeah. You're exposed to like more people that are kind of like at your level or maybe slightly above your level. And that I feel like is adds you know to this like stings competitive worse really, thing too. The thing that stings worse and makes imposter syndrome is worse is when you see amazing art from people you don't even like. Oh, that's worse. Oh, the worst. That is worse. That guy's a jerk. <laughs> I mean, he makes amazing art. His art is so much better than mine. I'm the imposter. Mm -hmm. I'm B fake from Cypress Hill. <laughs> oh my gosh, B fake. Yeah, one day I'll, I'll tell you the story of the, the Hustler Club. Or you got one knocked day. out by a stripper, you just told it. I'll do that. <laughs> oh, I didn't go into detail. Oh, uh, no, you didn't, go into detail. It, you didn't go into detail. Just so you know, it wasn't like a stripper that was throwing fist. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't imagine it was a punch that knocked you out. It wasn't, it wasn't a punch. <laughs> that should tell you enough right there yeah. to leave it at your imagination. Like, <laughs> if she didn't use her fist, then how the Oh, this is from the hangover. She like okay. a giant kit come down in your head <laughs> Dude, at that same night i saw a girl climb up like a three-story pole and like just slide down and i thought she broke her neck like but she caught herself but you know at the strip club you you don't need that kind of like stress like, <laughs> you're trying to relax like you're worried about like i want to lady I wonder does, she have health health insurance? Insurance? Yeah, does she have health insurance does she have kids at home you know, is she putting herself through school? She just broke the <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. What did Soul Brush say? Some call it imposter syndrome. Um, others would call that being a self-starter. When did he say? He said that like five minutes ago. I have no <laughs> idea what story he's talking about. I don't know either. I'm all over the place tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about stripper now, so I'm drawing a, a girl. <laughs> it's not a reason to job girls. No, but. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever works, whatever. What, works. Once in a while, I do it. Once in a while, I draw girls. Like this. Why don't you draw a monster girl? She's like an elf, you know? That's that's something. Really monsterish, right? You eat the monsters to your man. <laughs> oh my god, I touched something in here again and I don't know how to get out of it. Okay. Oh no. Magma's weird like that. <clears throat> um, yeah, you're joining some magma. We kind of stumble through the interface all the time. <laughs> so, so has there ever has there been a case with you guys like in recent like recently that you feel like an imposter syndrome? Like if it's like at work or if... I honestly haven't suffered from it in a while, and I am right. fortunate in that regard because because I am really out here trying to make this stuff work on my own. So. I don't need imposter syndrome right now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need that stopping you. To I don't need that stopping me. And I think uh, it's funny because uh, the reason I have this mullet right now is because uh, I kept talking about how I wanted it in 1990 as, yeah. as a high school kid. And then and then uh, I kept talking trash about how I was going to do it. And then Alan's like, we're not living our life in manufactured regret anymore. So I was like, <laughs> I'm getting the mullet. So what did you finally decide to get it? Like I've been waiting. I know. Waiting. I was growing my hair out uh, for two years. I was supposed to get it done in November, but like that appointment got canceled because my stylist was sick. I said stylist, mm -hmm. not barber, because I'm not cool like Ed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, real men go to barbers. Bro. Real men go to barbers and let them tell you how the hair is cut. So I, I, yeah, I made. I mean, uh, actually, Heather made an appointment for me on on uh, this Thursday with the the same stylist that cuts everyone's hair in this family and now i'm part of that so i showed her a picture of eddie guerrero and she's basically like say less fame and then she just she just <laughs> did it she just nailed it do you have the belt there by any chance it's behind me it's wrapped up so i don't know uh, i don't i thought like, you might wear the belt on your shoulder i should have done it the whole time just the whole that, podcast. The, the, because it's the 2004 undisputed one the one that eddie guerrero won it's blank though i don't have the eddie guerrero nameplate on there 
because I couldn't oh. find it in time. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about getting a belt because I'm a nerd like that. Um, <clears throat> but I've been thinking about the the winged eagle or big the gold. The old Ogan one? Yeah, uh, the, yeah the, old, the old Macho Man. Oh, the Macho Man, the one with the eagle coming off the circle? That's like... Yeah, <laughs> with the handlebars. Old school. Old and then school. It, was, it was either that or big gold. Or big gold. <laughs> it's just a classic Ric Flair belt. Yeah. And... Rurat's just like, oh my god. Oh, no, no, I literally was like, story. oh, they're talking about wrestling again. <laughs> That's all right. Go for it. She's like, I'm going to keep drawing. This is an art <laughs> podcast. But what happened? <laughs> what did Blaze say? Blaze said, Americans with their lack of health care. Oh, it's like, is that the stripper reference? We oh, have yeah, zero yeah. care, everyone. <laughs> it's yeah. on us to cover oh, ourselves because. Yeah. Or, Sad. Or get a, a good job that kind of pays for part of it. Yeah. Um, and even then, the insurance can just deny everything. I was feeling uh, some imposter syndrome myself, though, at work. Uh, I had to train interns. And they were better and than me? There was a lot of. Oh. You no, know, it's just there was a lot of moments where I was just kind of like, who am I to be doling out any kind of information? Right. Let it let alone it be art information and uh it was kind of hard for me to muster up the curb that right quick. Yeah. Yeah, curb it. Looks like I think I did all right, but there were still like a lot of moments where I was like, Man, who the fuck am I? (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? Like just kind of like I don't I don't need to be telling people anything like how to do it. I feel like that with the podcast sometimes. I'm like, Well, I'm just gonna talk. (laughs) Well podcast is different. It's like a podcast is kind of like for people's entertainment to participate and right. enjoy at at their own pace, whereas like an internship, I'm kind of like someone's mentor, and I'm oh. like, you're, oh, you're you more... ha- you're kind of forced to listen to me right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're more than skilled to be showing people how to do stuff. You know? Yeah, but that's the imposter scent where I'm just kind of like, I'm a big fat nobody. Oh. I should just go to your job and just shake you really hard. I won't hit you. I'll just I need, shake like, you. A <laughs> shake the shit out yeah. of you. <laughs> well, that's that's that shit where it's like it's so it can be so strong of a feeling where you're, you know. But luckily, I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't do it. So someone else needs to do it. I I stepped up and did it, but I still had those feelings. It's just I kind of had to like suck it up and just deal with it and yeah. kind of go with it. And yeah, if the my uh mentee or whatever thinks i'm like garbage oh well whatever it's like i'm i'm being asked to do this so that's what i'm gonna do yeah right. well at least that you're conscious of it and like hopefully you know it doesn't you don't go home thinking you know thinking poorly yourself you know um, you know you fight yeah. imposter syndrome you remind yourself that all these ceos are vastly unqualified <clears throat> to be where they are Got there. there you go. Oh, that's, promotions. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> She's not going to out them. Like, yeah. uh, like no, they the bill, but I don't want to go get it. I don't want to go get it. Yeah, and and you got to <laughs> think about it. Like, uh, we're 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 all like working professionals in the field, and like, there's a reason you got hired. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, yeah. you know, someone thought highly enough of you. Um, <laughs> to like, yeah, but then that that. My imposter syndrome is then like, well, do they know what the fuck they're talking about? Like, they trust me because they hired me. So it like the layers of the imposter syndrome will keep going forever. Oh, oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. yeah. It's okay. You're in a safe place here. Yeah. Yes. It's a safe it's a, a safe place <laughs> for safe imposters space. in this place. Yeah. yeah. You're you're among other imposters. So we're we're the new the, the new group Cypress Shill. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, I don't I'm have it. I don't have the imposter syndrome all the time, luckily, <laughs> but it affects me enough that you know there are moments where I'm just like, the self doubt is so real. Um, but I think that's just something that you just have to work towards overcoming. And like I said, I'd rather have imposter syndrome than be an arrogant asshole. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh well, it's like pick or choose. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll stay I mean, humble. I mean, have you guys run into a lot of arrogant artists or? Yes, obviously. Yes. Uh, and I Brian's like, yeah, you fool. <laughs> yeah, you, Ed. I've Show us that Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you, Ed. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't even know how that mentality even happens where you're just, like, focused, like, you're just a dick, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. me, like, like as far as art goes, if anyone ever has a question, I'll answer it for them. Well, give them my best answer. I'm like, not that I have all answers, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just try to be helpful because I just want people to succeed. You know, I don't want people to like other artists to feel like they can't go through something. Mm -hmm. I try to be as encouraging as possible. Yeah. Um, like I was just talking about imposter syndrome, even though it's something you have to fight through for yourself, but we'll help you through it as well. So just let us know. Yeah, we'll be like, we're, we're in it. We're all in it together. You yeah, know, yeah. So, I mean, we're in this fight together. <clears throat> I like this Godzilla. Yeah, I like the My kawaii -zilla. rosy cheek. <laughs> and look at Brian drawing like today. Angry eyes. Yeah, Brian's drawing today. One and yeah, a half drawings. Drawing. Because Josh is in here, so he's like, I gotta fill up the canvas. Yeah, well, I, I I spotted the, uh, the Jim Lee Artist Edition X Men book behind me, so I just <laughs> started drawing X Men. Oh well. You got inspired. I got inspired. <clears throat> I guess I did have a, a small bout of, of imposter syndrome because I like one of my goals was always to to at least pencil a comic book. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, who are you to oh, think oh, oh. you can pencil a comic book in your 40s? <laughs> <laughs> never having done, never even finishing a three page sample, thinking all of a sudden you could do 22 pages. You're super ambitious. You? <laughs> yeah, so uh, now I just write comics. I, I didn't even write comics. I started writing a comic that Ed and I are working on. <laughs> so that's my foray into comic books. What I need to work on. I didn't work on that much this week because hey. la last weekend I just got into, like, I'm going to draw stickers all weekend. <laughs> so yeah, what were those for? Oh, nothing. I just, like, here, here I'll. Hopefully you can see Did you get them done. Did a bunch. Oh, nice! Yeah, those so, are really cool. Those are just some uh, super just random drawing on on shipping labels. <laughs> just I super... thought you were drawing posters for stickers to get printed. Those no, are awesome, those are markers, these are, right? These are like Posca markers. Posca and stuff. markers. Wow, Posca are the best. But yeah, so I was just like, you know what? Like, Posca markers like acrylic paint. Yeah, they're like a color. They're paint. very opaque, right? So you're layering that, like you're doing the. Oh yeah, it's you, wow. You just that's way it in like, I like it better than like uh, Copic, 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 Copic markers. I can't stand alcohol Copic. markers. Copic markers are just like, I don't know Damn. if I just don't do it right. <laughs> it's a uh, different world, right? It's like it is. Yeah, marker rendering is not the same as like watercolor or or oil painting or anything. Like it's a completely different medium. I think I just come from like like more of like a painting background. So like the Posca markers. Cause I'll even like drip like the Posca markers and like mix them. Are they expensive? Like, Is that a new world of, of copic markers or uh, I think all they're of a sudden you're cheaper. paying seven dollars a marker? I think they're I think cheaper. They cheaper than the Copic. Yeah. I don't know like why how copic much cheaper are. though. I think I uh I got a box of twenty four for like and Less than shake bucks. them. Oh wow, yeah, that is shake. super. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Yeah, I just. Oh, well, I have I have refills for my my uh, gray Copic marker set. Yeah, there's like oh, some nice. of them coming. I had got some thinner ones because I was using fat ones all weekend, and like the, I was having to maneuver like a paintbrush to get into the corners. Uh huh. Um, I love the logo. It reminds me of like uh, what's that? What's that? Pig pilot uh, Ghibli Studios thing. Oh, oh um, yeah, Poco, Poco Roco or something like that. That's what the logo looks like to me. It just reminds me <laughs> of that for some reason. I just Ooh. got a, a Posca marker. I just uh, ordered a, a random marker pen set from Jet Pens. Jet Pens. Jet Pens. <laughs> and I got Another a way random, to combat imposter syndrome is new art supplies. Buy new art supplies. Wait, just yep. do, wait, did you order a random or did they throw those in throw a random marker in there? Yeah, it was like a random set, or it was just kind of like a like a grab bag of markers. Yeah, of like a, oh yeah, just like I, some of their best ones. So I've done yeah, that with brush pens. 
like yeah, uh, that's cool. Jenkins. So they just pick like a random selection and send it to you? Yeah. Oh, I gotta look into this. I gotta look into this, y'all. I did that with brush pens and they just sent me a rack load of brush pens. I'm like, I'll never use all these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. I'll never use all these. Uh, but they're cool. They're cool. Love jet pens. Yeah, Depends the school like that. I think it's jet pens wow. for the sponsorship. For, for zero <laughs> sponsorship. Who are we? To ask for a sponsor from Jeff. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, Podcast thanks. imposter syndrome. Thanks, Bear. In podster syndrome. Oh, man. But yeah. Um, I think that's the other problem is I haven't been on IG lately. So it's like I haven't been reminding myself that I'm nothing. I'm nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started going on IG a lot more lately because, uh, you know, I was spending way too much time on Twitter and <laughs> hand uh, curating my Twitter feed so it's artisanal now. I have a bespoke Twitter feed <clears throat> now. So I should just go back to IG where it's more comfortable. Like I've never got the hang of Twitter. It's one of those things I can't ever like commit to for a very long time. It's so time. much worse now. It's so it's, much worse. It's just worse. Like, yeah. I feel so like my algorithm is all jacked up now. Yeah, so. that's why I spent the weekend uh like a like a uh I don't know, like a white uh, Instagram girl handcrafting <laughs> its, its bespoke Twitter white feed now. Instagram. Why does it got to be a yeah, white woman's Instagram? Oh, <laughs> no, it's, yeah. uh, it's a song. It's from, uh, out, what was it called? Outside, the Bo yeah. Burnham special. Bo, Bo Burnham song. It's so Let's good. See. So I, just, oh, I was just drinking some wine and, uh, yes, please. I'm still following you, Blaze. I, did, I didn't unfollow people. I just started blocking. <laughs> Uh, dirt bag. Brian became verified, so now he's. I'm verified yeah. now, so I am. All of <laughs> you are beneath me. <laughs> you you are checking. all of you beneath me. I'm not verified. <laughs> I'm not verified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man. Weakness <laughs> continues. Everyone's gonna believe that it's just gonna spread. <laughs> it's like, ah, Brian's an imposter. He thinks he's verified. Who am I to be wearing that dumb blue check mark? So what's the deal with that check mark? Or do you have to like... Man, nothing? Don't worry about it. You don't want to know. Do you I don't want to know. Do I need one? Dumb. <laughs> no. Oh no, you definitely don't want one now. It's dumb. Sorry. I'm... It's so immature and childish. Is it for like Elon Musk fanboys? Yeah, uh, you just much. pay, you subscribe to Twitter Blue and you get the blue check mark now. Uh, okay. All of the previously verified people that like, you know, like celebrities and stuff that yeah. used to have it, they all lost it now because they didn't want to pay for Twitter blue. Um, uh, so Elon Musk found out that there's a bunch of people that are just blocking, yeah. auto blocking all blue checkmark people. So he started giving blue checkmarks to celebrities again. So you can't just auto block them all without without uh, catching Stephen King in the crossfire. <laughs> Oh, he's so active on Twitter. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You don't want you don't want to know anything about it. It's so dumb. Like I said, I wasted I my to, weekend curating my feed. I used to really so love. Says, no, you better than Twitter. that, bestie. Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need that. I don't need it. <clears throat> better than that. I didn't know how to use it in the first place, so getting a blue check mark is not even a good in <laughs> that situation. It was nice. It was like a my new like meme area after Tumblr. Kind of yeah pretty good for that right under yeah, yeah but now i just don't even now i'm like where yeah. do i get my memes i don't know anymore i, I still occasionally use tumblr if i just want to randomly post something i don't want to post on instagram mm. you just go to tumblr. I mean, for some reason i've been super anti-instagram like i'll do art and i'm like you guys don't deserve my love i'm not posting. <laughs> is it is it because of the the people there or because meta owns it it just it just doesn't do anything, you know. Yeah, it I it's well, especially right? now that the algorithm, the algorithm changed. Stuff, yeah, yeah. So it's not I mean, even by uh, like his what is it called Chrono chronological order? I think I just don't care. Enough, Are they still you know? pushing reels yeah. over? <laughs> oh Brush. yeah. Well, oh, it's because of Soul Brush, he says. It's because he <laughs> ruined it. Single. He did thing. ruin it. <laughs> I haunt its nightmares. <laughs> Well, because you keep sending me those feet pics. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> oh, my God. I knew it. Get to stiffen with the feet pics. <laughs> See, I felt bad for clowning on him with the feet, but I knew it. <laughs> you knew that's what it was? Don't feel bad. You should just... You should no, just I didn't. It. I never once felt bad. Okay. 
I like that. Sorry, it's a little brush. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. That's all love. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. Oh, I'll draw the stubby arm on Godzilla. That's oh, cute. Yes. It's very cute. I like the uh, the the cankles that he has. The new Godzilla has. The oh Godzilla. my god, his feet are so adorable. Are you body shaming it. Godzilla? No, I said I love it. <laughs> Who okay. am I? Who are you to body shame Godzilla? Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> we got matching ankles. <laughs> oh no, that's how my ankle feels today. It's swollen from all that walking. But it's so bright. If they only knew the gross videos she said. Shh. Hey. Whoa! 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 whoa. Oh, don't send those my way, Ed. Save it for the bedroom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's it's getting knocked out of a strip club. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Citrus cats. Oh. Aren't you supposed to be Whoa. sweet? Yeah. Harsh. It is past his bedtime. It is about, you know. But I think he still has to rub his lady's feet and then he can get it back. <laughs> She's like, stop touching my feet. <laughs> Did we cover imposter syndrome in uh, unnecessary detail now? I think so. I mean, does everyone feel bad about themselves? Do you all yes. Feel about <laughs> Do you all feel better about yourselves now? Let's see. Um, Sassy shooters. Is that going to be another? Is it another what is it? Reference. I discovered new. Song. It's called Sassy. Sh I don't. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening right now? Let's see. Bear says, nice Zilla reps. I imagine the parrot Thank is you. also kaiju size. Yeah, this is also I based imagine, on her, yeah. uh, on her uh, story. Hop it, but it was before the podcast, right? You, before we started recording, you were talking about the... Oh, yes. I saw plushies. I saw two children playing with their stuffed animals, and one little girl had a Godzilla plushie, and the little boy had a cockatiel plushie, for some reason. The Godzilla made more sense than the... That's weird that kid... <laughs> Is that weird that kids bring stuffed animals to restaurants, or did you do that? Wait, as how a kid? Old I feel like I did that. <laughs> they were young. They were really young. They were probably oh, okay, like okay. six that's or normal. seven, maybe. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, we, we we used to see the neighbors' kids also wear like like a Spider-Man costume like all the time. That's, that's really is, right is on. That, is that weird? Or is that but how cool? old was the kid? If he's nineteen, well, he was yet. like. <laughs> he was it's 19. like if he's no, I think he was yeah. like. Eight or nine. Yeah, that's fine. That's I feel fine. like that's right on the cusp of like let don't him. Don't you dare enjoy question themselves. him. Yeah, don't you dare make him suffer from imposter syndrome. <laughs> like you're not the you're real not Spider the real Man. Real Spider -Man you <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're not Peter Parker. The mask will fit eventually. <laughs> God. You see, Red Rock is always drawing cool shit. I don't know why she thinks she has imposter syndrome. Yeah, I know, right? I. Do nothing but hype you up. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. She's the reason I don't draw on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <stop> it. <laughs> it's because I'm lazy. I am lazy. You're lazy. It is. You know, lazy sometimes it is hard, hard to. Draw to draw. It's hard to. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's why I mostly am not as talkative as I could be. I'm concentrating drawing these silly things. <laughs> we need that though. We're a someone's YouTube gotta, podcast. Someone's got to draw on this drawing podcast. <laughs> Someone's got to carry the weight Someone's, of the drawing yeah. on this podcast. Who am I to draw on this, this podcast? Who are you? I do like your uh, the Cyclops. It's like a zombified Cyclops. <clears throat> I mean, not really, but <laughs> oh shit! So no. I like it looks like he's... he looks. He no, looks like a it looks like he's like like half dead. I kind of like it. Do you he ever see now. those like? Um, Marvel zombies, no, yeah, like the I forget. There's like a person that does like uh, stormtrooper helmets where they look like half dead. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it's reminding oh, yeah. me of. Yeah. It's like because it's all his like face is all like fractured and stuff. You remind me of uh, there's a, a a book called Death Troopers, a Star Wars book called Death Troopers that I thought was gonna be the most awesome thing ever. I was like Star Wars and zombies, sign me up. It's not that good. Not that good. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Look at you judging. It sounded like it was more interesting than it actually was. I know. I was excited about it, and then oh. I didn't quite enjoy it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I have too much about imposter syndrome. Um, I think life. we're, yeah, I think we're at the home like stretch we now. Talked about it, 
we came up with solutions for it. We all suffer from it. I think we we came to the conclusion that you fucking deal with it. Yes. (laughs) Or just hang out with other people. Hang out with supportive people. I think. uh, Yeah, everyone needs a hype man. Exactly. Brian, where are you at? What does that say? Y'all gonna raid out? What does that mean? I'm old. I don't know what that. I'm I'm <laughs> level forty eight. I don't know what that means. Uh, y'all gonna raid out? Uh, yeah. What does that I don't, mean? I don't, <laughs> what does that mean? Like we oh, follow you to another. Like we have to thing? raid someone else, but oh, that's not happening. <laughs> she always what? like no. Nah. What are you yeah, saying, Blaze? Seahorses don't have stomachs, so they gotta eat all the time. <laughs> What? What's happening? Is Blaze drunk? <laughs> What's happening? <clears throat> we don't know what uh, raid out means, by the way. Uh, look at this sigh. I'm done here, geezers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, man. That's all right. I can't believe you did that to Rurex. I embrace my geezer. <laughs> okay, I see. You know what? You know how much I help this dude? How many t- art tips I give him? <laughs> He just got to do me dirty like that. Uh, messed up, bro. Messed up, messed bro. Up, bro. Yeah. I give you an infinite amount of knowledge, and you just like, oh, he's old. Now I'm old. Now I'm a geezer. I see you. Man. I see you. He can count on his toes how many times he's helped you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. oh, that's funny. Your friend is playing with the stream soon. Are they an art streamer? You... Or... Is that a game video game streamer? Do we need to learn that too? Start start streaming video games. Oh my god, I'm an imposter when it comes to video games. I don't, I don't, I can't play video games anymore. It's wild. Is it yeah, just because people are mean these days. Yeah, my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say your old arthritic hands. So Is that what holding you back? So I do not have arthritic <laughs> hands. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I can't play Call of Duty the same anymore. I can't keep up with 13-year-olds. It's just yeah, not I, physically no. possible. I tried to play Gundam Evolution. Uh, I learned the magic of uh, left-hand controller with the analog stick and right-hand mouse. And I thought that was like a game changer. And I still kept coming in last. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is not my world anymore. This is not my world anymore. Oh, he's an art student. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've seen some of the, the art, I believe, right? Like you got some commissions from him. Yeah, I'll probably be doing a solo <clears throat> art stream on Wednesday. Nice. Yeah, everyone join Ed in his solo art stream. Raid Ed. Raid. <laughs> and that's Raid on Wednesday. Ed. And demand uh strange stories. Uh, that's where you should be telling your stories. Yeah. Tell the stripper story on Wednesday. <laughs> on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, don't even look at the chat. Just look down at the art and just like ramble yeah. on about the story. <laughs> it was uh it was aught five when I went to the, the club. Oh, aught five. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so old when you say it like that. <laughs> 19 Vera. dickety two. Well, it was I, the I 1900s. wish. I wish we could raid them, but I think I'm just too old to understand that right now. But I'll figure yeah. it out next time. I yeah. think because we're doing restream, I'm not directly in the art. Oh, on, the, yeah. Yeah, we're so. kind of in a. In a, in a sideways, uh, <laughs> sideways universe of streaming, universe. just because we're streaming on YouTube at the same time. So. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, my uh, level 48 ankle and knee hurt right now, so I'm gonna go sit down and read a book. <laughs> that sounds old. <laughs> what level 48? <laughs> no, just uh, saying my ankle and knee, knee hurts. hurts. I can sit down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know how many kilometers I walk? Because I say it's Pokemon Go, so it's only kilometers now. I don't know, miles. <laughs> it goes by kilometers. 0. Right? 0. 0.625 kilometers per mile or something like that. Or 0. 0.62 miles per kilometer. I don't know. Something like that. Great. I'm hatching eggs out here on these <laughs> high-level ankles and knees. All right, we're going to get out of here now before I depress everyone with with your, your ankle talk, yeah. <laughs> ankle talk. Your for, sciatica. Join us for ankle yeah, sciatica. sciatica. Is angina. Is my angina. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> join me next week on bum shoulder. Cool. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head out. Well, thanks everyone. That Thank you everyone by. for joining us. Yes. Um, next time I'll figure out a raid, so maybe we could do that. That sounds fun. 
<laughs> Something bigger old guy says. Oh yeah, that raid sounds fun. That raid. All the, the kids like, are doing it. Raiding. <laughs> raid. In my day, raid was how you killed roaches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you have roaches in your house, there's an issue. <laughs> yeah, don't use raid. <laughs> you just call call a, a professional. Oh, professional. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't rattle can your roaches. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping right. by, Bear. Appreciate it. Yes. This is and like everyone the, else. This is the most exciting episode we've had. <laughs> All right. See you guys. All right. Bye.